Hey, beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back. I am Asha Nicole, a.k.a. The Dope Lady, and I'm here with another positive energy message for you guys. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Don't force it. If the shoe doesn't fit, do not put it on. If it does resonate, hit that thumbs up button, hit the like button, hit the share button, leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates, okay? Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more content and videos, you guys. Thank you so much for your energetic donations. Thank you so much for your monetary donations. I appreciate y'all. Um, so let's get into this. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Let's get into this. I'm going to start off with um, the Angels of Abundance today. And let's see. Let us see what's going on today. What's today? Tuesday? Telepathic Tuesday. So let's see, y'all. Angels of Abundance for my positive energy views. Starting out, we have bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps you shift to a higher vibration and remind you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree garden. Sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless fastness. So this is telling you to um, go outside, okay? Connect with Mother Father Earth, all right? And at the bottom, we have no more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So that's beautiful. I'm going to leave those out. So no more complaining, you guys. No more complaining. Let's get some... Um, New Orleans Oracle. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So New Orleans Oracle. We'll see what that talks about today. Let's see. Um, let me slide down over a little bit. There we go. Wow, we got patience. So something about your patience. Something's growing for you. You're rooted in something that is very. The ground that you're planted in is very fertile. Okay. We have create your reality here, number 33. Yeah, so it's something that you could be working on. There's some kind of new beginning here for you. Um, I'm getting dragonfly energy with this card. Okay, dragonfly spirit. Beautiful dragonfly. Hmm. Something new. We got share your gifts. So be patient. There's something coming in. Hmm. When we have to be patient, usually we're waiting for something. So that means something's coming in for you, though. Let's see, what's the African goddess rising? Have to say. Let's see. If we can get some insight. Let's see, you guys. Okay, we have liberation. Hmm. So this is you guys are feeling free from something. Yeah, number 37. Breaking down to the 10, a new beginning. Something died. Something's done. Something's over with. And um, there's a new thing coming on the horizon for you. There's a bright new day. Whatever it is. Hmm. Yeah, we have alchemy here. There's something that you're creating. Hmm. We have grief here. Some of you could have had a miscarriage. My condolences to you. Hmm. And we have scarcity, giving, and receiving. We got number 10 here again. Hmm. Maybe you were in the in you were in the energy of like grieving of something that you lost. Maybe you were at a place where um you were kind of struggling for a second. Things were kind of off balance. Hmm.
something about your heart is heavy. Something's weighing heavy on your heart. Because I'm looking at the feather and the heart here. And y'all know the saying of if, you, if your heart is as light as the feather, then you'll make it past. But it's like there's something that could be heavy on your heart that you're grieving from. Let's see. Hmm. I really get that you guys are are awakening into your true self, to what you truly want and desire. You're awakening to the miracles and the mercies of God is, is what I'm seeing here. And it's it's for some of you, it's grieving you. It's it's causing you to almost have um survivor's remorse almost, um, because you're moving forward, you're moving past this this thing or whatever this is in your life and Maybe you want to take some of the things and people with you, but you can't. Maybe that's what you're grieving. But we'll see. Let's get some angel God. See what's going on. Before we just dig off into the tarot. Because you know how the tarot get. It gets great. <laughs> so let's see. This is for my positive energy viewers. What is the message? Hmm. We have intuition and downloads. So you're definitely getting some kind of information, some kind of spiritual wisdom, insight about some kind of connection. Hmm. Yeah, we have honesty and communication with surrender here. So surrender the need to be in control and just speak effectively and as honest as you can, okay? Do that with yourself and to those around you. Look, we got opportunity and change. I told y'all, it's like this card right here is almost giving this kind of energy, okay? So it's like step into this new thing here. And then we have manifestation again. So and it talked about creating your reality, okay? So this is definitely talking about a new, something that you worked on. Be patient. Something that you did the work for is coming in. Just be patient. It's all a part of God's plan here. It may not seem like it's working out in your favor, but in divine timing. Okay, this is this is God's speed right here. This is going to work out exactly how it's supposed to. So whatever it is, just be patient. Okay, just ground yourself. Get That Bound for Nature card came out. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration. Okay, no more complaining. Be patient. Do what you can do and let God do the rest. Let's get some uh, metaphysical oracle deck. Let's see what this deck is talking about today. At the bottom, we have bliss looking like the world card. Definitely something coming to a completion here. A cycle has been completed. Hmm. Let's see. You could be uh, giving birth to something new. Um... There's someone here who's going to be having a baby soon. I I had a dream last night. I gave birth. Y'all, it was the most amazing experience. It was so real. I was so happy. I had a baby, y'all. And it was just amazing being in that labor room. And, like, I don't even think I felt the pain. I was so overwhelmed with joy. And just to be able to hold my child, like, it was amazing. Like, granted, there was some BS going on in the room or whatever, but, like, I was like, give me my baby. <laughs> y'all, I had a baby in my dream, y'all. Like, it was amazing. He was just the sweetest, most beautiful baby boy I've ever seen in my life. He was chunky, too. My little man was chunky. Like, oh, my gosh, y'all, I had a baby last night. <laughs> but anyway... Somebody gonna have a baby soon. It could be a boy. But we have let go. We have dance portal here. So I'm just getting like release. Release the need to be in control. Turn on some music and have fun. Like treat yourself. Take yourself out, you know, on a date or something. Just like go out and have some fun. With just you. Just be you. Allow yourself to love and be fearless and free, okay? Let's see. What else we got? Family here. Maybe it's something about family that you need to release. Maybe some kind of limiting beliefs that you um, 
Because sometimes we got to let family go. Okay, but do it with compassion. Have compassion as well. I'm getting to. Hmm. That could be a loved one that you may have recently lost. And maybe you pray um, about them or you talk to them or something. Some of you could be Catholic. I'm seeing a rosary here. Maybe you light a candle for this person. Hmm. Some of you used to drink together. Y'all used to go for margaritas and drinks and stuff. There's some kind of celebration coming in where y'all going to be eating. You're going to be feeling really free, though. We got freedom here again. We got I can and freedom. I feel like some of y'all need to go dancing or something. We have transcend universal oneness. Is here. Hmm. Some kind of karmic cycles in there. Here we go again. We got alignment and nature. Come on now. We got the nature card right here. Bountiful nature. It's like getting out in nature is really going to help you out here. Something, something that you have manifested is in alignment, but I'm getting it's just like divine timing. Look at that. It could be a relationship. We got union right here. Didn't I say go dancing? Somebody could maybe want to take you dancing. You might meet this person dancing, out dancing or something. I don't know, honey. Are you a dance instructor? We have grace here. I want to read that one. Let me read Grace. Let's see if I can find it. What number is that? It doesn't even have a number. These have numbers on them? No way. I'm like, this is the wrong book. Like, y'all, look, I'm like, <laughs> let me read Grace really quick. Let's see if I can find it. Um, They're not really... They're not really, um, oh, these are based off of, uh, wow, these are beautiful. Let me see if Grace is in here. So they do base these off of the tarot a little bit. I see. Yeah, that would be the judgment. So what would Grace be? Bear with me, you guys. I'm trying to find it. I'm hearing be graceful with yourself. It's like with everything do you do, let it be seasoned with grace. I cannot find it, you guys. This is so wild. Usually I go right to it and I have not found it. Let me just go to the index and see what page it's on. Okay. And then, ironically, it's on page 99, which is an ending, a new beginning. So, we found it, yay. Osanian is the god of the forest, magic, power, and healing, and his herbs have the power to send away the negative forces in your life, also called a jogan. His long beard is intertwined with vines and herbs to symbolize that humans are one with nature. <laughs> Back with the nature card, you guys, okay? And the true roots will be revealed if you embrace your surroundings. Your true roots will be revealed if you embrace your surroundings. You are a natural healer and must remember that if Osanyan has appeared in your spread today, no matter what your situation may be, you can connect with the magic of the forest to find the solution you are seeking. It told you to get out in nature. Bountiful nature. Get out in nature. No matter what happened with your situation, you may be able to connect with the magic of the forest to find the solution you're seeking. Sometimes everything you need is right around you and there's no need to feel anxious about not having all the perfect elements. So no more complaining. I love this so much. You can create change with your thoughts first and your actions will naturally follow. Create your reality. That some, I knew being called to that grace card was going to tie in with everything that had came out at first. This card appears when you have been too hard on yourself. Didn't I tell you to be graceful with yourself? And when you have been too hard on yourself and you need to take a break, okay? Set aside some time each day to do nothing but rest. So get have patience. You've been doing the work, all right? Whatever it is that you've been manifesting, you've been working on, is it's coming into fruition, all right? So maybe go out and, and, and dance or something. This is nice. I really, really like this a lot. Um... 
it's a lot for you. It's like you're in alignment. You're doing the work and things are starting to, to pay off for you. So don't don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Things are working out in divine timing. Things are working out in your favor, all right? So let's move on here and we're going to get some um, cosmic insight. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to put these away and we're going to get y'all some cosmic insight, okay? All right. Now, where is the, where is the cosmic insight? All right. Cosmic insight from my positive energy views because we're being way too hard on ourselves, apparently, and we need to get out in nature and, and get a clear mind about things because we're stressing too much. That's what the cards say. So let's see. What's the cosmic insight regarding this situation? Cosmic insight. We have confession. Hmm. Someone has something to tell you. So there could be a little gossip going on. Somebody has something to say. What do we have here? Intimacy. Oh. Maybe somebody is reminiscing about you guys being together intimately. Okay. Um, we have no, it's not the right time. So again, be patient. Um, hmm. Someone could maybe, let me just keep going. Because I was going to say that someone could maybe tell you that they would like to be intimate with you. And you could tell them no. There's a guardian angel here. I did speak on someone that lost someone. There's a guardian angel here that watches over you. Hmm. Some of you could have uh, problems with some kind of addiction or gambling. Or maybe you're just not very well with your finances. Hmm. If you're thinking about spending something, don't get it right now. It's not the right time. Let's see. What's this? Yeah, during this retrograde right now, something that could be like some kind of communication issues. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, so that could be you or somewhere in your chart. Let's see. Maybe a fire sign is going to tell you something. Hmm. Anything else? Yeah, cycles. Cycles coming to completion here. So something ending and something beginning. Just confirmation on what we already talked about uh, pretty much. Let's go into um, the love portion of this message. Let's start out with life is like a song. Let's see. Life is like a song for my positive energy viewers. So my life is like a song deck. Let's see what comes out, what songs are going to come out. Let's see. We have Where I Want to Be by Donnell Jones. That's that's an interesting um, song choice right there. So someone could... Someone could call you and tell you something like Donnell Jones said. If you give me some time, I could be the man she needs. All right, Donnell. Bye. With that energy. <laughs> Let's see what other song we're going to get. We got Roll Some More by Lucky Day. Okay, so maybe somebody want to be with you rolling some more. I don't know. Uh, we'll see about that. We'll see where that goes. Um... Dang, all my cards are flipped out the wrong way. Let's see. Okay, so life is like a song. Going into the love portion of this reading. Okay, so I See You Came Out by Coco Jones. It's honey, somebody want to be next to you. You are where they want to be at. Point of View by Ariana Grande. Yeah, honey, I want to love me the way that you love me. I want to trust me the way that you trust me. Cause nobody ever loved me like you do. I love me. I love to see me from your point of view. So I'm gonna trust me the way that you trust me. Ooh, for all of my pretty and all of my ugly too. I would love to see me from your point of view. So somebody views you in such a way, honey. You like? I want to see you the way that you love. Because ain't nobody ever loved me the way that you do. This is beautiful. So let me read those out. I like that. I like that energy. I thought that where I want to be was going to be on some BS, but it seemed like it's turning out to be pretty good. So let's see what's going on with the um, this. Life is like a song energy. We're going to tap in really quick. 
Ooh, honey, at the bottom we got, before I even shuffle, we got engagement ring. Honey, somebody sees you like a wife even. This your twin flame. We dealing with twin flames. I love this. Yin Yang, baby, balance, union. I showed y'all that union card with a couple dancing, so give it time, okay? You guys are going to compliment each other, so just give it time. Let's see. You guys match each other very well. We have Chaser and Axe. Yeah, you're cutting that out. You, you're not chasing nobody no more. You're breaking that that up. You, you're stopping the pattern with that chasing people and things. And we know that we don't chase. We attract, okay? You ain't about to be running behind nobody. I ain't running behind no fella. You better go figure out what you want to do. Period, okay? Let's see what else is going on with this. Life is like a song energy. It says not today. So you might, you know, you're not dealing with that pain. You're not dealing with that. So you, someone could still be mad and maybe you don't want to talk. Or someone could call you there. We got girl talk here. Hmm. Somebody could come call, come tell you something. You're like, girl, I don't want to hear that. Like, I'm not trying to hear that today. Not today. So keep a mind, positive mindset, okay? Um, let go of, you know, resentment and things like that. Anything that's triggering you. Because you got somebody coming in that likes you a lot. Like, somebody really does. Like, that's a, they, they flirt with you. Like, they want to date. Like, somebody likes you, honey. Maybe you just have some kind of old ways of thinking or some kind of limited beliefs in your mind that are keeping you, holding you back from being pursued or pursuing okay you keep going through things over and over in your head but i feel like some of you guys could be meeting up with someone i'm telling y'all somebody got something that they want to tell you i don't know what it is maybe they want to tell you they like you look you got the dragonfly twice today oh my gosh something's coming out you're gonna find out something the dragonfly is about healing changing adapting it's like Somebody about to come through with some kind of truth. You about to find something out today. Something. Yeah, we got talking and not enough. Maybe y'all gonna break up today. I'm not saying, I don't know. Somebody's frustrated in a relationship. So maybe y'all gonna talk it out or something. I don't know. Let's we'll see how that goes. Um, let's jump into the tarot, I guess. But let's see how your person's thinking and feeling first. Let's get some messages from the heart. Because whoever this is, you got a person that's digging you on you. Then you got a person that wants to talk about something. So let's see. Messages from the heart. Let's see what's going on. There is nothing like spending quality time with you. I choose you. So somebody chooses you, honey. They love spending time with you. They want to be where you are. I'm here. I want to be where you are. Uh -oh. I want to be where you are. Uh, uh, uh. They said, will you marry me? Wow. They think about you at night. This person thinking about you a lot. So, I mean, this person. Wow. They want to marry. I think I tell y'all, wifey, look. Somebody could tell you they love you today. So if y'all in this relationship and y'all ain't told each other that yet, baby, this person about to tell you that. Just get ready because they feel like they love you. They want to marry you. Congratulations. That's all I can say. Look. Can I come over? Come over. Come over. To see you come over. Can I come over? Come over. Come over, I know it's late. Okay, but you're on my mind, and I'm wide awake, and I wanna stop by. <laughs> Come see me, babe. <laughs> I can't wait to come see you. It says your eyes say it all. Oh, it says you went behind my back. Look, you're always on my mind. 
you went behind my back. So I don't know what your person did or something, but you're always on this person's mind, though, for sure, for sure. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Look, this person wants to be up and talk to you all night. Like, y'all just gonna roll some old and just... I love this. It says, I keep running back to you. So this is, for some of you, this is a past person that's here, too, as well, expressing their feelings. It says, don't we look good together? This person likes you, child. Somebody's saying, blame it on me. Another person is saying, teach me how to love. Maybe that's the same person. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it says, I'm sorry I hurt you. So they could have done something, this person. Somebody did something. And it says, I knew the moment I first saw you. They knew, honey, that you was the one. Wow. I'm hearing, like, it could have been love at first sight. Let's see what that was. <laughs> I want to see you tonight. Y'all, they want to see. Y'all, this person, they said, can I come over? I love spending quality time with you. We can talk all night if you want. I think about you at night. Can I come over? I want to see you tonight. Child, this person, they want you. They want you bad as a heartbeat. Bad as the air they breathe. They need you bad. They can't take this pain. Because they about to go insane. Uh, <laughs> Look, says you can trust me with your heart. I'm here. I can hear your heart crying out for me. Come with me, come with me, come with me to save me. Okay, okay, okay. Child. Somebody said I thought you had my back. What happened? What did you do? What did they do? <laughs> you should have listened to me. Somebody, I don't know. Did y'all go? Oh. So, y'all know I did say that somebody wants to tell you something. So, maybe somebody went behind your back and did something or they... You could have told somebody something and they didn't listen. And now somebody about to come tell you something and you be like, you should listen to me. I told you. You went behind my back. I told you. So I don't know. We'll see. But they don't want to lose you, whoever this is. Honey, they do not want to lose you. That's that's not on the agenda for them just to lose you. And you could be over it, though. You're like, child, I'm done with this. Okay, that's too many spirit. This whoever this person is, they they come somebody coming to spill the tea. Let's see, let's get a couple more and then we'll close it out. True love never gives up, they say. Then we have I got it, babe, don't worry about it. So somebody gonna fix some this I put this card back in there, but it was it had just when I was shuffling it had popped out, but never ending love story. Let's see, what else we got? Look, somebody want to put a ring on it. Or maybe that's you saying, if you like a thing, you should have put a ring on it. I don't know if they got resonate. It says you are my everything. I'm just in in these love messages right there. Because this person really likes you. Somebody sees you as wife material and then somebody else wants to, um, a second chance. So there's a new person and there's an old person for some of you. But the choice is yours, okay? The choice is yours. Let's get a positive affirmation card. I'm not really going to get into the tarot because I honestly don't have enough time. Uh, but I'll come back a little bit later and we can dig and be nosy and get into the tarot and stuff. But let's see. Um, let's see. You have today I am persistent. Today I'll, Today nothing will stop me from accomplishing my goals. Nothing will stand in the way of my happiness. Today I am persistent. Today nothing will stop me from accomplishing my goals. Nothing will stand in the way of my happiness. I love that for you guys. And before I go, let me do the um, crystal ball pocket oracle. Remember, you guys, ask a question. Think of a question or a person, place, or thing. Whatever it is that you need guidance or some kind of answers to. And this is going to help give you some kind of direction here, okay? Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I appreciate you guys for being here. Y'all could have been anywhere else in the world, but you decided to be here with me. And the answer to the question is no need to worry. No need to worry. Hmm. Don't worry. Ain't no need to worry. Y'all, I'm hearing that song. Um, I forgot who sings it, but it's like, Why should I worry? Why should I care? 
What what song is that from? I don't know if it was um It might have been the Aristocats. All dogs go to heaven. Maybe it was all dogs go to heaven. I think it was all dogs go to heaven. Oh somebody did lose somebody, y'all. All dogs go to heaven. If you lost your doggy. But don't worry, okay? It says do not worry. There's no need to worry. There's no need to worry, no. Cause boy, when you call on me, I'll come, I'll come in a hurry. Oh, can I talk to you? Ooh, can I talk to you? Okay, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. But um, somebody cares for you, okay? And they wanna let you know. I care for you. Hey, sexy baby. There's no need to worry, no. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I hope this helps. Remember to take a resonates, leave what doesn't. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Dope Ladies channel on Patreon and YouTube, okay? Share this message if this resonated with you, with you guys, okay? Leave me a comment. Let me know how this resonated. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all next time. Mwah.